Hey, this is Angie with Apostrophe S. I'm here showing you our little slowpoke mosaic turtle. This, this little guy is so fun to make. He's so cute. He would be a fun project to do with your kids or um, if you wanted to do him, give him as a gift or put him in a house plant. You can even put him outside in your garden. He's made of a durable powder coated metal so he's super weather resistant and good to go anywhere you'd like to put him. He's got these super cute aqua colored mother of pearl stones that shimmer in the light. He's just really cute and really fun to make. So let's go ahead and get started. When you buy your kit, this is what's gonna come in it. You're gonna get your turtle, bronze colored beads, your mother of pearl stones, two tubes of glue, a little wooden spatula, and some fishing line to string your beads onto. What you're gonna need from home, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, and either a thick magazine or a book of some sort. So to start, you're gonna take your fishing wire, or your fishing line, excuse me, and your bronze colored beads. Just tie a double knot at the end at the, of the fishing line and string all of your bronze beads onto it. You definitely aren't gonna wanna miss this step. This saves you tons of time later on. Then you're going to take your turtle and you're going to actually start gluing them onto the turtle. How we found was easiest was to kind of follow this here. Um, we did the blue line first, which is the outer shell of the turtle. You can see that I've done it on this one here. The outer shell of the turtle first. Then to do the outer lines that are on the outside of the turtle. Do these inner lines here to do these middle lines on the inside of the turtle and then to just fill in the lines or fill in the blanks excuse me with these pink lines here. You don't have to do it that way that's just the way that we found was quickest and easiest for us. So I'm going to show you how to do it on one of these inner lines here. What you're going to do is you're just going to take your glue and you're just going to squeeze it out into the groove all the way around your turtle. Then you're going to take your fishing line with your beads and you're going to start right at the edge here and you're just going to push it all the way along in the glue line that you've already created all the way to the edge of the bead there and then <coughs> excuse me so you're gonna just push it all the way to the edge of the line there and then pull out your fishing line. So the beads aren't actually stuck on there with the fishing line, they are just simply glued on and glued into place. Just kind of pat it down if you need to move them around. Definitely use the wooden spatula that's provided in your kit. Makes it so you don't get sticky and don't get as much glue on you. So that's what you do there. To do these outer side ones, that's where the magazine or the book comes in handy. So you're just going to take that and prop the turtle up so it's half on and half off. Take your glue and you're just going to put it right into the groove there. Now my fishing line, because I've taken a lot off, it's hard to see, but it's really long now. It makes it a lot easier if you just keep cutting it short and leaving you about like two or three inches at the end. Makes it easier to hold on to your beads so you're not having to pull as much out and through them once they're glued on. So just push it in the glue there, pull out your string. Now these ones are easiest to do either one at a time or two at a time but you probably don't want to do any more than two at a time because they'll start sliding down and the glue will kind of harden before you can catch it. So that's what you do on the outer edge there and you go all the way around the turtle. So once you get more further along this is kind of what it starts to look like. Super cute and really fun to do. Once you've done the whole turtle, finished all the beads there, we're gonna start on the, on the aqua colored mother of pearl stones. With these, yeah, all these out of the way here. You're still gonna need your glue and you're just gonna need your stones here. 
So dump out some of the stones. You will have extra stones when you're all finished with your project, so don't worry thinking you did something wrong. There's extra ones just because there's so many different sizes and shapes that we wanted to give you enough that you can fill it in just exactly how you want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just fill in the area, each of these little areas with glue, do them one at a time. So just squeeze some out and kind of work it into all of the all the little spots in there. Then you're gonna take your stones and place them on. You can do this with your fingers, but I found it a lot easier to do with these tweezers. You can get them as an add-on item. They're super awesome. They open a lot wider than regular tweezers. So you just stick it on there, move it around at the tip of the tweezers. You can just put them all in there and fill it in. Tons of different stones to choose from. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just make it exactly how you want it. So once you finish each section, just kind of push it down, make sure they're nice and secure and all in the glue really well. And then you can move on to finish all of the other sections and all the way around the turtle as well. When you're all done, this is what he's gonna look like. Super fun, super shimmery. Really cute to put in your garden, house plant. Really fun to make. Um, allowed it the glue to dry overnight. That allows it to fully cure. And then place it somewhere special when you wake up in the morning. Remember not to place it in direct sunlight though just because the mother of pearl stones, they're shimmery now, but if you place it in the sunlight, they'll start to shade over time. Or fade, excuse me, over time. So definitely keep it in a shady part of your garden or in your house out of direct sunlight and enjoy them. Make sure to tag us in your photos of your finished projects. We'd love to see how yours turns out. And apostrophe S, make it yours.